We're leaving Brisbane today, so this week we're headed to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, we're just loading on our bus for that right now. And after we do that for a few days, and then we're gonna be in Byron Bay and tour back down the coast to the city. So we're excited to hit the beach. The first stop on our tour is at the Reptile and Snake Zoo, which doesn't sound all that appealing to me. But I guess they've got some koalas and some kangaroos too. So. Welcome to our crib at Kelly's Cafe. So we all got our own little cabins. Well, that's a lie. People who paid for them. We upgraded, got our own little cabins. They're cute. They've got bunks upstairs. Not that Curtis and I have anybody staying with us. A little living room. Very uh, reminiscent of Three Lakes Cabin. Yes, this is like a Three Lakes Cabin. They're really cute. We'll go upstairs. Oh, oh. Need less. You're sleeping on a mattress on the floor on that side. Whoever the lucky person is on that side gets an actual bed. It's very hot up here. There's an air conditioner there. Is everyone up there? No. And these beds are on a wood piece on the floor. Okay, so tonight we're going to watch the baby turtles hatch and head out to sea. And we're at the Monterey Post Turtle Center. Pretty excited about this one. The tour's been awesome so far. Went to the zoo and then had ice cream. Checked into our little villas, which are these super cute little cabins and had some supper. Now we get to do this, which is way beyond my expectations. So that was through Sunset Safaris and they were on TripAdvisor. Is where we found them recommended. Totally will recommend it to others. We're group once with the first up. Fingers crossed that they are gonna hatch and go into the water tonight. It's not guaranteed, but I'm really excited for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, because the Great Barrier Reef tour was pushed back a day, we kind of had a day to hang out in the city of, well, we're staying in Bar Barguera, and this is Bundabar? I'm gonna have to double check on that. But we came into the city, there's like 100,000 people that live here, and we got to go for a workout at Total Fitness CrossFit here. So that was nice. But it just feels good to move and, uh, be able to get some fitness in at some gyms. I mean, we can do body weight stuff wherever we are, but nice to hit up a class, meet new people. And uh, yeah, we had a really great workout there. So getting some work done at a coffee shop now. And yeah, then surf lessons this afternoon. Today is the Great Barrier Reef Tour. So we just took a boat two hours over to Lady Musgrave Island. I don't know if this video does it justice, but the water is super teal blue and the sand is so white. The boat trip over here was pretty terrible. I would say about half of the boat and there's probably like 100 people on it were puking. I held it in. I managed myself quite well, took my meds, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a great boat trip, but I didn't throw up, so that's always a plus. So, I'm gonna take you guys on our Great Barrier Reef tour with us. We're gonna do some snorkeling, we're just touring the island right now. We get to go in a glass bottom boat and check out all of the sea life, so it's gonna be a pretty great day.
we just made it to Byron Bay. We actually had to take the Greyhound here today um, because our Great Barrier Reef tour got a little um, switched around. We were supposed to be here last night, but we had to go back to Brisbane, spend the night there, and then we took the Greyhound bus. Haven't been on a bus since my grandma and I did a trip to Regina to visit my aunt from Imperial. <laughs> so it was good though. It was it, like Wi-Fi and I got some work done on it. So that was awesome. Um, Curtis booked us a cabin at this place called Discovery Parks. Upon first glance, it, I would say cabin is a loose term. I would maybe say they're more like small mobile homes, but who knows? Maybe we'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. And it looks like it is connected to a campground. So kind of looks like we're staying in the trailer park, but I, <laughs> I'll let you know what they look like. Oh, it's all blurred out, whited out in the back, but over there cabin. Looks like a trailer. Okay, these are like super new and cute. So we have what you call a lake view. It actually still smells brand new in here. So they're super cute. Little kitchen and bedroom, bathroom. Way nicer than it seemed when we pulled up, for sure. But this is our lake view here. You want to go for a dip, the trash. Checking out the lighthouse views, and it is definitely this is our friend Malcolm. He's been hanging Hi. out with us. We met at the gym, so he's. <laughs> we got some sun surfing today. <laughs> Malcolm and Curtis both got some sun. Not unusual for Curtis though. Let's see. Uh, he is our friend Swedish Les. He is a very fit young man. We met at the gym and he was touring around with us today. So yeah, we went rented boards, went surfing. Um, after we did our open work at the gym, We've just been touring around Byron Bay. It's like such a cool little hippie town. So yeah, see if we can do a, a full shot of the lighthouse here. Another day, another rolling a suitcase down a road. We actually stayed in the cabins behind us last night. They upgraded us. Uh, they were really nice. Two bedroom cabins on the quote unquote lake, which is the swamp. Pretty sure ours was where the lizard breeding ground was. We woke up and there was probably six of them on our doorstep this morning. But yeah, we're leaving Byron Bay, heading back to Brisbane. Gonna meet Ange at the Ulu Bus Depot and head home to Canada tomorrow. So we'll go for coffee. We might rent surfboards again today. We got quite a bit of sun yesterday. Surfing, went to the lighthouse, had some drinks, had some good food, met some new friends. So today, 
maybe meet up with some of those friends. Uh, we met them at the gym. And yeah, head back to the beach for a bit before our bus leaves this afternoon. We're officially back in Canada now. And I am already cold. Also, I'm just wearing slippers. Some of my slippers on in the airport and they made us take a bus outside to the other terminal. I think they're doing some construction. So that was great. I'd love to say that I'm happy to be back on Canadian soil, but I'm not really. I could have stayed. It was fantastic. Probably the best trip that we've ever been on. And there's so many more things that we could have gone and seen. So I guess that means we'll have to go back again.